Duke famously a Nike school for as long as just about anybody can remember, but Cooper Flagg, now the face of the program, is a New Balance athlete. And he grew up wearing New Balance. He's from Maine where they make New Balance. What does that mean? What does that say about the state of college basketball? That three letters outweigh four, Jeremy. N-I-L outweighs even D-U-K-E in college basketball. This is the climate of the sport that a Cooper flag can go ahead and put himself out on the market, and rightly so. He deserves his money. He deserves his endorsement. He deserves it all. He should go out and, and get whatever it takes. And New Balance put out the very best offer for him, and there's nothing that Duke can do to force him to abide by Nike regulations or rules because at the end of the day, right now in college sports, there are no rules. There are no regulations. This is an auction sport. It's a professional sport. And it's even beyond pro sports because there's no contracts. You know, there's nothing that's biting you to the school that you're at. Now, for Cooper Flag, he's at Duke. He's at the most desirable of, of stops. And for him, he went out and he said, I'm looking for a shoe deal. I'm looking for an apparel company to sign me on to something and New Balance won the bidding war that's what college sports is in 2024 and when you're a, an athlete with the magnitude of Cooper Flag, you can go and do that and Duke can't tell you otherwise and Duke's just fine with it Rutgers has two of the best three recruits in college basketball with Dylan Harper and Ace Bailey I went to a preseason practice Rutgers has been an Adidas school those guys were in all Nike I asked Rutgers, how are you dealing with this? They said, how are we dealing with it? We aren't because it's out of our control. And in a lot of ways in 2024 college sports, the people who once were making the rules and regulations have no control. So does it mean it's only a matter of time before the players are wearing whatever they want during games as well? I think so. I, I, now, I think that what you'll see is teams, programs try to keep the players wearing what their apparel is and getting those players with these companies to get NIL deals and, and make money off of it. But yeah, this is a free-for-all. Honestly, this is just the latest signal of what we now have seen in college sports the last couple of years, and that is you know, the athletes have all of the control unless we get to a model where NCAA leaders acknowledge the reality, Jeremy, that there has to be revenue sharing. And that there has to be some sort of contracts that, that structurally lay out these types of things. So I think it's a combination of a lot of things. But to answer your question, the athletes have all the freedom. And they should. They, they've earned that freedom and, and they should have it. But college sports leaders, because they ignored the problem, Jeremy, for as long as they did and didn't find any middle ground or any alternative to the current climate, I think they're the ones that are looking in the mirror wondering, how do we get to a point of balance in our system? Because right now there really is no system. And these types of things, a Cooper flag signing with a new balance at a Nike school, are only going to continue because of the system or lack thereof in place.